JS Man with Smart. Today, another brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at YouTube. Now, I do have a playlist on the channel related to YouTube, giving you guides on how to do certain things on YouTube, how to avoid copyright claims, how to use different tools to improve your YouTube channel to get more views to make thumbnails, all kinds of cool stuff to help you out as a creator on YouTube, or if you're just interested in how YouTube works, then uh, that playlist is for you. And today we're adding another video to our playlist, which is how to do YouTube SEO. So hopefully all of you had a good holiday season. Uh, for the past few days, I certainly did, and New Year's is just around the corner, so I'm excited for that. So YouTube SEO is basically a type of SEO. If you know what SEO is, basically search engine optimization. And usually people do it for websites, or anything they want to market on the internet and YouTube also has SEO included as well this is known as the tags now I'm not gonna go over all the best practices and how to you know do your tags do your titles do your descriptions maybe I'll do that for another video but today I want to talk about how to do your actual SEO research and how to get the best tags now if we take a look at some of my videos here on my gaming channel uh, my most recent video for example you'll see that uh, I also have my tags here, and with a tool such as TubeBuddy, you're able to do your tags and your SEO research a lot more efficiently. And uh, currently, as you can see, I'm ranking for a lot of words here in my tags as number one on the first page. Uh, and if you want to get something like, I think this is called VidIQ, it gives you a score on how good your SEO is. So this is also a really cool plugin to use. I'll leave the links to both TubeBuddy and VidIQ in the description that you can download. They're both Google Chrome extensions you can uh, basically download and install. And with these two tools, I'm able to see how well my SEO does with this card here. And I'm able to see how well I rank through my SEO keywords here through my tags. Now, like I said, your score here does involve, you know, configuring your title, configuring your description and whatnot. I'm not going to go over any of that. I'm just, I just want to go over the, the, the technique on how to do SEO research properly to get some good keywords. Now, what I like to do is have a spreadsheet. Here you'll see basically a list of all my most recent videos, and I have a spreadsheet of the keyword I'm using, of the search volume, of the competition, and of the rating. So each keyword that you have has a volume, which basically means how much that keyword is being searched. Certain keywords get a lot of searches, so it'll be very high. Certain keywords get very low amounts or very low searches, and they'll be very low. You also, you also look at competition. If there's a lot of people making videos around a specific keyword, they're going to have very high competition. If there is not many people making videos about the keyword, it's going to be very low competition. Your goal is to get keywords that have low or moderate or even high amounts of volume, but very low or low competition. Based on these two factors here, you'll then also get a rating. And typically, the ones with the best rating are the best keywords. You will have certain instances where you'll have something like, you know, average and very low have a 78. But in reality, this is a very good term because there's average amount of search volume and a very low competition. Uh, the reason why some of these other ones are, have a higher rating is because something like this probably has very, very low competition, a lot lower competition than this here, and has a very high search volume. So as you can see, this is keyword research I've done for my gaming channel for some of my Guild Wars 2 videos. And if we go to the last video that I did, I showed you, which is that Q&A video here in YouTube. This is my Q&A video I did uh, over Christmas, I did. And if we go down to the research here, you'll see that for Gaming with GS here, as you can see, this is the advice video. Here is Gaming with GS. You'll see that uh, 80, I got, an, I got a rating of 80 here for GW2 NPC lore. Has high volume, but very low competition. And as you can see in my tags here, I have it, and I'm ranking number one. So this is how you can rank very high by having good SEO research. And you can see that I have a bunch of ratings here, and I tend to just copy and paste the best rating words into my tags here, as you can see. And then I'll just come up with other tags that I've done research on previously, and I'll just add them into it if they relate to the video. Mm -hmm. So how do you actually do this? How do you actually do this type of research? Well, let's do a sample video. Let's say we're doing a video on my vlogging channel, which is just GS Man I'm Smart, right? And let's say we're doing a video on how to make the best sandwich, how to make a cool sandwich, or how to make how to make a sandwich, or just think of a, a video idea that you think you'd want to do, and then come up with words that come in your mind. Dealing, say we do a video about sandwich making, you know, come up with the words that come to your mind. 
So I, I'm thinking of how to make a sandwich. That's what I'm coming up with. How to make the best sandwich. Making sandwiches. Awesome sandwich. You just come up with a bunch of words that you think are great tags for your video. We're gonna verify if those tags are actually good. Right now you're just thinking of some ideas. So I just come up with a few ideas. Obviously the more time you take, the more worries you'll actually have. But these are just some ideas that I have. So this is step one, coming up, coming up with ideas, coming up with ideas for your tags. Then what you're gonna do is with TubeBuddy, once you have TubeBuddy installed into your Chrome, what we're gonna do is start typing in our keywords into the search bar here. So for example, we have how to make a sandwich. So we're just gonna start typing in here, how to make a sandwich. And as you can see, when we type that in, we're getting other search results here. Now these search results that you see here are the most searched searches on YouTube. When someone types in how to make a sandwich, a lot of people are looking up for reactions, looking up for Superwoman, funny, looking up rap for kids in Minecraft. These are the best uh, search results that people are searching a lot. So maybe we'll use at home. This is, people search this a lot. So you wanna have this in your tag. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this and add it to your list. And we'll just keep on doing this. How to make a sandwich. And if your video is funny, well then go ahead and add this to your list here. Funny. And you keep on adding uh, things that relate, that you think relate to your video and not how to sandwich, how to make a, how to make a sandwich. And you just keep on thinking, okay, does this, does this relate to me? 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 This relates to me, I guess it can relate to me. Uh, so how to make a sandwich, how to make a sandwich for kids. I guess we could do that too. And we just put it in. Then you do the same thing for all the other ones. You go to the next one, how to make the best sandwich. Do the exact same thing. How to make the best sandwich ever, as you can see. So that, that's a good one. That's a good tag. It's a popular search. And we'll do the exact same thing. Uh, how to make a sandwich and what else do we have at home? How to make the best sandwich in the world. So we could put that and we can just go back again, search again. And you can just keep on adding a bunch of these. See how to make the best egg sandwich, tuna sandwich. If you're gonna do it's egg sandwich, egg sandwich is very popular. So say you wanna, say your sandwich has an egg in it, then you may as well add that, how to make an egg sandwich. So. This is kind of what you're doing, you're just going down the list here to basically find what uh, find what words you can put into your tags. Now for certain words, like here, best way to make a sandwich, you'll see that there's not much search volume. When you, when you have no results here coming up, that means not a lot of people are searching for anything else except for this. So when you have something like this, just move on to the next word. Now it's also not a bad idea to put tags that relate to other videos. Even though your video is not going to be about the top 10 sandwiches, if your video is about how to make the top sandwich or the best sandwich, you want that video to show up in related videos section. If there is a video about top 10 sandwiches, you want your video to show up on the related section on the right side. So you can put tags like top 10 sandwiches. and. Obviously, you know, you don't want to rely on these tags heavily. You want to have a few of them in there, but the majority of your tags should be revolved around your video. And they want to have a few tags that relate to other channels that are related to your video or other videos that are related to your video. That's a good way to look at it as well. So now that we have some keywords here, obviously the more time you take doing this, the longer lists you have. If you scroll up here, some of, some of these lists are really long I have here, like super long lists. And as you can see, the more, the more words you have, the better, because the more of a selection you have, the better you'll be able to actually get the perfect tags for your video. Next thing we're going to, next thing we're going to just use TubeBuddy to research these words and see how much competition and see how much volume they have. So all you're doing is going to your Excel sheet over here and you're pasting each of these words into YouTube. Then you're going to click the search button here and then click the button that says explore how to make a sandwich. Now be aware, vidIQ does have the thing on the right here, but I feel like TubeBuddy is a lot more accurate, so I don't really like using vidIQ for uh, volume and for competition. TubeBuddy has been super accurate for me, and I think it's a better tool to use. So when you click how to make a sandwich, you explore, you'll see very high, very high, and 59. This is what you'll write down, very high, very high, and 59. So in in uh, over here in, what is this, volume, we're gonna type very high, competition, it's also very high, and our rating is a 59. So this is just an average tag. You can put this into your video, and maybe you won't do too well, but maybe you'll get ranked. So this is, an, this is considered an average tag. 
Yellow is considered average. Green is considered good. Dark green is considered very good. And red is considered bad. So we move on to the next one. You just keep on going down this list. You copy it. You go into this little section here. Erase it. Paste it. And you click explore. And the more words you get, the more results you'll get here. And what you can also do is you see high average 52. So we're going to type in uh, high average 52. As you can see, there's a lot of volume coming in. Not as much as the other one. There's also moderate competition. The reason why it has lower rating is because there's a lot of people searching for it, but there's also already enough people making videos for it. So sometimes it can be a bit confusing understanding the ratings, but just realize that just because this is very high, it doesn't tell you how very high it is. You could have another word that's very high, very high, and have a rating of like 30. That means there's even more competition. That means it's super high, but they don't have a super high, so that's why you sort of have to think about this. If this, if this has a lower rating, that means there's a lot more videos out there and a lot less volume compared to these two. So that's why I like to categorize by ratings. Your ratings tend to be a bit more accurate than just going off of volumes and uh, competitions. But sometimes you will see a rating that's like 77, and but the volume is super high and the competition is very low. Just because it's a 77, you still want to add that to your tags because you will have a chance to rank for something that has a, that has a lot of high volume but low competition. And like I said, you just keep on going down the list and keep on you know, erasing this, pasting it in until you get all your words done. As you can see for making sandwiches, very high search volume, competition is average. So this is a good tag, this is a very good tag. Even though it has a 73 rating, it's a good tag to use. So you're gonna type in very high average 73. So what you can do is, if you and if you don't wanna you know, write it down constantly, you can just copy and paste here, very high average, we have those words already, and you can type 73. So if you have the words here, you just gotta copy and paste them. You don't need to write them all down. Just control C, control V makes it a lot quicker. Now, one thing you can also do is uh, under here, you say most used tags. You can use these as well. You can click these. However, most of the time, these tend to have a lot of competition, like cooking. You'll see that it has super amount, it has a huge amount of competition. So uh, most used tags isn't very useful because all these tags have a lot of competition, as you can see, and they're very general tags. And most of the time you wanna have your tags be specific you want to have a few general tags but you want to have them be more specific because there'll be less competition around them you can also click trending here and trending tends to be also a good way to get some cool tags so you can use this as well but once again i would definitely also use the research here and check check the ratings auto suggested is also fairly good but once again i will check the ratings and other than that i think historical is not much here maps not much here results not much here so these three tabs are very good to get keyword ideas. If you don't have any ideas, if you feel like your list is too short, you can get more ideas from these two tags here. Just make sure they relate to your video and just make sure you do the research here and write down the competition, write down the volume and write down the rating. Now, once you have your keyword research done here, what you're gonna do is just highlight everything in these three columns or four columns really. And you're gonna go to data, you're gonna sort it and you're gonna go to sort by column E because our ratings are in our column E. Then we're gonna go largest to smallest. And here you'll see your best tags are basically these right here. These are your best tags. So this is what you wanna revolve your title around, your description mostly around, and your tags mostly around. Obviously you can use all the other ones as well, uh, or you can do some more research, look up some more words, but this is basically how I do my research. Now how to make a sandwich is pretty much a very competitive uh, it's a very competitive uh, area in YouTube. As you can see very high, very high, lots of averages. Not much lows, not much very lows. It also seems like it doesn't have so much search volume before it does have search volume. It's a lot of competition. But a perfect example that I can show you on my vlogging channel is the video I did with my girlfriend on my vlogging channel called Disney Beauty and the Beast 2017 starring Emma Watson <coughs> movie trailer reaction. Now, this is basically us just doing a reaction video of the new trailer for the new Beauty and the Beast movie. As you can see, I have a 44 out of 50 rating, and this video actually had the most views. I have over 800 views. Now, my channel is still very small. The vlogging channel is still rather small, so I only get like maybe 100 or 200 views on my vlogs, but this one got 800 views. Now, why did it get so many views? Mainly because at the time, as you can see right now, it's not ranking very high. Uh, it doesn't have the top rankings for anything. And that's probably because now, you know, the, the new Beauty and the Beast trailer is kind of old. Everyone's seen it already. But at the time I made this video, as you can see here, 
the research for this had very high rankings. I had this tag right here, I have a 91 rating. It was very high search volume, very low competition. And as you can see, I had a lot of words here that were very good to use. So I revolved these words around my title, around my tags, around my descriptions. And that's what made this video perform so well. Compared to my other videos, I only get like maybe 100, 200 views per vlog. This one got four times the amount of views. If you take a look at my other vlogs here, uh, this is my vlog to Miami Beach. As you can see, only 144 views. So, I mean, it, 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 it depends on your research. If you have a good SEO, you can definitely rank higher. I only have 144 views here. This one has over 800 views. And as you can see, I did SEO research here as well. And uh, my action score is 45. I did just as good of an SEO job here as I did over here. Uh, this this video just had more popularity. It had more search volume. It had very low competition. This one here has some competition. It has some search volume and it's not that popular. So doing good SEO research on things that are very popular that have very low competition can get you more views and can make your channel a lot more successful. So this isn't easy to do. Obviously, you have to think of words. You have to, you know, be aware of what what ratings are good to use. You have to know how to revolve your words around the title and make it still you know, sensible and readable. Your descriptions and your tags and make sure that you use the best tags. And you sort of have to keep up with you know doing this for every video. It can be time consuming to do this for every video you do. You take like 20 minutes to do this for every video. So if you put in, if you put in the time though, uh, it will definitely show in your results. So that's kind of everything I want to go over today. Just show you, you know, the the method behind doing SEO research on YouTube. This is how I do it. This is how I've gotten success from it. And uh, showing you how you can use TubeBuddy and VidIQ. These tools can help you do your SEO research better and uh, help you grow your channel. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment box below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and please subscribe because we have plenty of other YouTube tutorials on the channel. We have more YouTube tutorials coming in the future. And if you happen to be a content creator, we have guides on video editing. We have guides on audio editing. We have guides on image editing, YouTube guides. So I think this is a great place for you to come and you'll learn about different video editing techniques to help you, you know, edit your videos better, to you know, help you make thumbnails or help you improve your design skills to make your videos better or do audio editing to help you make your voiceovers get better. So this is a great channel. I highly recommend you subscribe because a lot of useful content is on this channel and we have more useful content coming in the future as well. So hopefully you enjoyed and if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, anything as low as a dollar is very helpful and very much appreciated. Click the link in the top right corner of the screen or bring it to the page. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, the gaming channel, the device channel, or the music channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Malice Martin. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere. Wanna be, wanna be all saints. Trying hard to be someone else. All we want, all we want is please. Giving us, giving no time to breathe. This is our identity.